Yo, what's happening guys? And happy birthday to Minecraft. Minecraft is 15 years old and for their 15th birthday, they've been giving out a bunch of free stuff. One of them is this 15 year journey map and it's time for a literal trip down memory lane. A lot has happened in these 15 years, so we've packed some of our most nostalgic moments, marvelous dimensions, and accidental proudest inventions from our past into a free map by Orville Studios. The doors to Minecraft Museum are open, and admission is free, so what are you waiting for? Let's head inside. What are we waiting for indeed? Let's go ahead and create this world, and let's get right into it. Make sure you like this video for Minecraft's 15th birthday also. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos or any of that good stuff. Alrighty, here we go. Let's get into it. Play. 15 years. 15 beers. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Some of the animation stuff they do on Bedrock is just bonkers. Look at this. This is so, so insane. The 15 year journey. Look at, how do they, how do they, how do they manage this? This is so insane. Look at this guy dancing over here. Is he going to do it again? 15 years of Minecraft, how time flies. Head to the museum to begin the celebration. Uh, music is video friendly creators. Very nice, very nice. Headphones are recommended. I've got headphones. Hello there, feller. Uh, party villager. Oh, welcome to the grand celebration of Minecraft 15th birthday. I'm thrilled you're here to join the party. Inside, you'll find games, surprises, and nostalgic stroll down memory lane. Take a moment to read the signboards, wander through the garden. When you're ready, head inside to kick off the adventure. Let's make this celebration unforgettable. He's a villager, so actually he should have sounded like, her, her, her. But, you know, we, we did a little bit of translation there. Uh, anyways, let's head on down. Yo, look at this. There's a ravager and, a, and an iron golem who's got him, like, stuck up there. What the heck? <laughs> they got garbage cans and everything. Presents everywhere. Dude, this is so cool. That's one thing where I'd say Minecraft Bedrock wins is the maps like the stuff they can do with the maps the cinematics and stuff like that i know it costs money but it's like some of this stuff is so worth it when they do crazy insane stuff like that what do we have over here are they taking photos everyone line up and say creeper let's capture this momentous moment give me the biggest smile and strike a pose oh can i get in can i get in photo there that's kind of spooky i wouldn't want to be in a photo with a warden but <laughs> you know it is what it is there we go. We have a photo with these fellers. Let's go. What do we have on this side? Uh-oh. Is that a pillager scaling the wall? Are you trying to break in? Hey, what the heck's going on over here? Hey, dude. Frig off. You can't just break into the... Oh, he's falling. <laughs> Can I sit in the bench? I can't sit on the bench. That's all right. It is what it is. All right, let's head inside, man. This is, this is bonkers. They're opening the door for me. Good God, man. More of that cinematic magic. What is this book? Oh, look at that. Massive cake. Happy birthday, Minecraft. Yes, indeed. Happy birthday to you, Minecraft. 15 years. That is insane. Orville Studios, of course. They do some bonkers stuff, man. Sticker collected. 15-year cake. Open the sticker book to see it inside. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, how to use every activity you complete will uh, reward you with a sticker. They will be added to your sticker book automatically. Keep your eye out and fill your collection. Okay. Silhouettes will show you a place until a sticker is collected. When you collect a sticker, open the sticker book to see it inside. Oh, I see. You click down here. You've got uh, Alpha, you've got four four stickers. You've got uh, Buzzy Bees with uh, six stickers. Uh, Dimensions with six stickers. And uh, Exploration with five stickers, very nice. Oh wait, or is there m even more? Okay, let me see, let me see. Oh, I see, okay, Exploration uh, has like a second page of stickers. So there's, there's a lot of stickers there. Oh wait, we got the Aquarium too? I almost missed that. 
Uh, there's like two pages of stickers on the aquarium. Caves and cliffs. Two pages. Of Holy crap, man. There's a lot of stickers. I don't think I'm going to get all the stickers, but you know what? We'll, we'll do what we can here. Hello, do you say anything? No, you're just sniffing your present? <laughs> Why are you sniffing the present, you weirdo? The heck? Adventure awaits. Keep an eye out for hidden stickers to fill your collections. True. What is a hidden sticker going to look like, though? That's what I'm wondering. Look at this. <laughs> I don't think you're going to catch him, my dude. Uh, okay, so here we have all the different portals to the different sections. We've got, like, the uh, aquatic and caves over here, it looks like. Uh, and what is that one? Let me see. Let me check the book. Exploration. I just heard a creeper. What the fudge? Oh, dude, there's a creeper sitting at the table. You're not going to explode on me, are you? Can I sit at the table, too? Dang it, dude. I wish I could sit at the table with you guys. Dude, this is, like, just insane. It's, like, overwhelming. There's so much going on. There's so many things. I don't even know where to start. All the mobs are here. Everybody's here. The gang's all here, dude. He just grabbed the cake and freaking disappeared. Oh, there's LA's dropping in cake. This person, gift shop. Oh, there's a gift shop. Let's talk to this guy. All right, welcome to my gift shop. Hunt for stickers around the museum and complete games to unlock an adorable baby mob companion. It's a piece of cake. One of 53 stickers collected. Okay, so I have to collect stickers and then I can buy these little fellers. So cool. So freaking cool. Well, let's jump into it then. Um, I say we start at the beginning with uh, Alpha. Where the heck is Alpha? It's over... Over here, I think? Yeah, Alpha is like the creeper face. So let's go and let's jump into that one. Oh no, poor feller lost his cake. That sucks. There's plenty of cake around here, man. You could probably just go grab another one. Like the alleys are just flying all over with it. I don't think there needs to be tears for it. We're head Oh, look at that. That's crazy. It puts you into weird perspective. We're heading into Alpha. Uh, terrain Showcase. Alpha Minecraft, retroactively referred to as Minecraft Classic, marks the first phase of Minecraft's development, where versions of the game were made available to the public. The Minecraft that first saw the light of day may look drastically different from the Minecraft we know today. However, the bright neon-colored palette and iconic flat clouds will forever remind us of where it all began. Yes, look at this. This old, um, this is like a little sky island setup or something? I don't know. Very, very neat. There's, a. Uh, Okay, yeah, this is just the this is all just the info card here, I think. Now does this lever do anything? Oh. Vanilla blocks loaded. I don't know what that's doing. It does is that is that changing? I can't even tell. It must be. It must be doing something. I don't know. Let's let's move on. Okay, yes. So here you can tell more of a like this this is kind of a bad example, just dirt and bedrock and sand. Because like they haven't changed that much. Here we have better example. Yeah, I, I mean, if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, you remember a lot of these, a lot of these good old textures. These are the blocks present in the early classic version of Minecraft, which took place between May 16th to May 28th, 2009. The good old classics, back before the ores dropped, you know, chunks of ore instead of the actual ore block. Oh, look at this. Look at that old cobblestone, dude. That's crazy. Do you miss the old cobblestone? Or do you like the new one better? I think new one's definitely got a little bit more more niceness to it. But I mean, otherwise, these don't look too crazy different. Like the wood, the grass, the dirt, and the stone. It's just the cobblestone mainly. Starting exactly 15 years ago in May 2009, pre-classic Minecraft began its first development phase. This version predates Minecraft Classic. In this very initial stage of development, the game was originally called Cave Game. It was later renamed to Minecraft Order of the Stone before finally adopting the name that would cement its 15-year legacy, Minecraft. Dude, what the heck? Minecraft Order of the Stone? I like that. Why not? Why don't you stick with that? I mean, it's a little bit long, but that's dope. So we got like some closed off sections. I can't. Can I get into these sneaky little areas? I can't. Frig. What if there's hidden stuff over there that I'd like to see? Wait, is that? Is there a way up? Is there actually like stairs up? I guess there must be. Whoa. Oh, yo, we do have a second floor. Look at all the old wool. The wool block was first added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft during its introduction to the game on May 31st, 2009. It was originally known as cloth. Fifteen years later, the array of colors has received new additions and some colors on the top row have been retired for a more refined palette. Very, very interesting. 
yeah, I mean, the look of the game has, like, drastically changed from back then. It's it's kind of bonkers. Yo, we can get a photo. A <laughs> 15-year celebration. Can we, like... Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> it's just so crazy that, like, it actually puts you into the photo mode. That's bonkers. Another thumbnail opportunity. These are blocks added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft, which took place between May 31st and July 2009. Very nice, very nice. The good old uh, sponge cheese look. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's, uh, anybody remember these? The half slabs that didn't turn into like a stone block? Well, they've kind of like brought that back now. Now we have those those same like stone slabs, kind of. These are blocks added in the survival test version of Minecraft, which took place between September and October 24th, 2009. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's head on back downstairs and see what else we can get into. We can move further on here. Ooh, the old lava. The old lava and water. You made obsidian though, you didn't make a cobblestone generated, you fudged it up. Back in the olden days, lava and water could fill massive areas with only one source block, creating vast oceans or fiery lakes. From nothing today, to the dismay of griefers, fluids are much more contained with water flowing up to seven blocks and lava up to three blocks in the overworld. Yeah, definitely big nerfs on the lava and water. Minecraft Sponge has had a roller coaster history. Initially, it could absorb water, but then this functionality was removed as the game's water physics evolved. For some time, the sponge was purely decorative. However, in the 1.8 updated, absorption powers were reinstated and improved. Now it can soak up water in an area and be dried out for reuse. Long live the sponge. It is very useful. Yeah, if you're trying to like clear out an area of water, it definitely does good stuff. That's when they removed functionality, and this is sponge functionality. Yo, where are these hidden stickers? I haven't seen any hidden stickers yet. Yeah, look at that. Look at that old cobblestone little little hut there. Press G to spawn. Humans were an old hostile mob that were removed from the game. They looked exactly like the default Steve skin. We all know and love humans could be spawned by pressing G on your keyboard in the classic mode. They had a slightly unorthodox way of making of walking the world, as you can see. Oh yeah, I oh yeah. There was some weird stuff in Minecraft back in the day. <laughs> There's the exit. I think there's more to explore. There's a game. Heck yeah, we want to do a game. Creeper sticker. First sticker collected. Open the sticker book to see it inside. Let's see here. Yep, we got a creeper sticker. Very nice. Oh, it's showing like the how the creeper was originally supposed to be a pig with the messed up texture. Did you know the creeper was created almost entirely by accident? Originally, it was supposed to be a pig, but when the model was being built, the height and width values were mistakenly swapped, resulting in it standing up vertically. Watch this poor pig morph into a creeper, mirroring Minecraft's most famous model mix-up. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, we have a game we can play, the game. Approach Steve to load into Alpha Minecraft. I'm scared. I'm about to play a game inside of a game. Yo. Happy birthday, Minecraft! It's an old, old freaking monitor too. Old PC. Yo. Use the Switch versions item to solve the puzzles and travel between the current day Minecraft and Minecraft Alpha. So we have like a game inside of a game. Current Minecraft. If there's a chest, can I grab? Nothing inside. The current Minecraft, we have villagers and... Do you have anything in your houses that I can steal? Where is your stealable items? No villages, nothing. It's just, it's just stone and dirt and cobblestone. Redstone didn't exist in Alpha Minecraft. Stand on the pressure plate to progress. Oh, okay, so we have to switch versions, get on that pressure plate, and pop the TNT. It feels so weird without like sprint. Also, like in the uh, old version, just walking at one pace. That's kind of it. Kind of feels bonkers. But anyways, we can like blow this up and then move on. I wish villagers did this. I wish they had a little bit more animation. Like that's kind of crazy seeing them dancing and stuff. Why aren't they? Uh, why aren't they dancing in you know the uh, regular Minecraft? All right, let's switch back. Look at that. I uh, the grass does look way different. You can see it from the top. When they showed it in like those side versions in the museum, you can't really. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's just, it's a little darker nowadays. But oh, there was like a hole here. But if I switch to this version, I can walk right across. Ooh, I remember this. I remember these big old chasms. The caves and cliffs really changed a lot as far as that goes. Look at the lava difference, dude. The lava looks so crazy. Ah, ah, I didn't mean to fall into the lava. <laughs> God dang it.
but we're in the right version to get across, so that's that's good. Uh oh, we have a spiky cave. We can't go into spiky caves. Now we can, because there was not spikes back in the day. Why are there like weird patches of cobblestone? There's that good old lava. Oh. Uh can I jump can I jump that? Oh, I think. I think I like skipped a gap there. Oh yeah, I did, cause by standing on the cobblestone. I think I should be able to jump this. Yeah. Okay, then we do another switcheroo. And we can cross again. The cobblestone. It was a signal. It was a sign. Oh, now we can cross again. More of this new cave stuff. Very fancy. This was like a major addition though. Like this makes the cave so much nicer. Makes explore exploration in general just so much nicer. Oh boy. Little bits of parkour without sprint. Um now what about this? Can we we can climb these vines, right? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, and we can fall into in the it's not even lava, it's water. Why do I die? Alright, let's try that again, but this time better. I'm not very good at vine parkour. I made it. I freaking made it. Now here's the dangerous part, the lava and the mine shafts and all that stuff. Parkour, parkour. Parkour is crazy when you don't have sprint, man. It just feels so weird. I overshot it. WT fudge. Yeah, you can't make much for jumps when you don't have freaking sprint, man. Oh, that time I got it. That time I got it. Uh, I wonder if I'm going to have to go that way. Seems like these are dead ends. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go that way. But in the old version, back before there was even mine shafts. Love that old lava look, though. So... Ooh, we got an oof. It's so orangey. We actually have an oof. Ooh. I love it. They need to go back to that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they mad? Oh, oof. I hear bow like I hear them pulling back their freaking crossbows. I think they are shooting. I think they are shooting. We need to get out of that version before I get shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fudge. Yeah, you don't really think about it because they add the stuff so gradually. You don't think about how much has actually been added to the game. Unless you're like actually seeing them side by side. Because, you know, it's so gradual. Every year you get one update with, you know, some few I items or, you know, new mobs, trees. And then like after a while it just feels like normal. Like that's just part of the game. We got a big old sniffer. Can I go in the house? I can. It's a very pink house. The cherry tree was a pretty dope addition. And these guys too. I think he's uh, blocking my way. Let's go back to a time when you didn't exist. Back when you were extinct. Wait, I just got a chicken egg sticker. Very nice, very nice. Just by walking past that chicken, I just got a chicken sticker. Oops. Look at that nice island house. Ooh, look at it in the modern times. It's a nice uh, cherry wood house. Back then, though, it was just a little bit of a stone hut. Welcome to the party, says Steve. Steve's not even here. I'm, Alex says, woo, you made it. You're not even here. You don't even exist yet. I was just exploring the stone house. God dang it. <laughs> Very nice. We had another sticker, the grass block. I think I might have missed one. What would that one be? I don't know what that one would be. But we're going to move on to the next because we don't have too much more time. We have a half hour left. I've kind of taken a lot of time with reading stuff. So we might have to like speed through a little bit more on some of the, the next ones. All right, we're going to go on to the uh, purple zone next. But before we do, if you have not already checked out merch, make sure you do that. Link is down in the description and on the channel page. It is very dope. We have the sleeveless now for summertime. They're very nice. I'm really enjoying it. You can get yourself hats. You can get yourself shirts, sleeveless, non-sleeveless, whatever you want. We got drinking glasses all kinds of cool stuff so definitely check that out if you haven't already it's a good way to support the channel and is much appreciated and you'll get some cool stuff some cool unique stuff so check that out but let's get back to it all right so this must be dimensions i think yeah it's dimensions very nice what do we got in store for dimensions there used to only be one and it was the overworld 
It would be. I mean, you have to go into another dimension to get the Wither stuff, but it would be cool if there was like a Wither dimension where you actually went to fight the Wither. Why isn't that a thing? Careful wet floor or just missing floor? Just void floor. We got to be careful navigating our way around here. So do we actually like pop into the different dimensions? Like, can we hop into the end and to the nether? I think that's the point here. Let's go ahead and go to the nether first. They've got the good old wither star. Oh yeah, the addition of netherite, man, is so crazy. I was I was pretty shocked at that one. I never thought they were gonna add more armor types or more like um, weapon and tool type, you know, like ores. Very crazy. And this this is stuff I never even use, like the respawn anchor. I probably should, like in the nether, that, that actually could be very handy. But this one, you know, just, I, I could see there, there's some uses to it, but it's just stuff that I never really use. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if that's stuff that you actually like use a lot or what. These guys, freaking butthole inies. You should be scared. There's blue, there's blue mushrooms right there. But these, these biomes are so cool. But they did make the nether a lot harder, like to navigate. Everything's so far apart. Like trying to find a fortress is ridiculous. I kind of wish they didn't make them turn into zombified ones. It'd be kind of cool to pull them across and have a farm of them. But then again, you also, you already have pigs in the overworld, so. And you got chickens. They can just go across. They can do whatever. Gas. Oh, good God. There's gas. They have the worst biome. That freaking biome sucks with just the magma creams. This is also another bad biome. The Soul Sand Valley. This would be a horrible spot to have your fortress. Right between a freaking basalt delta and a soul sand valley dude that would be butts can i do you have like is there a sticker or something that i can grab i don't think i can get a sticker there should be a sticker around here somewhere i would think oh yeah collect three of these these boyos yeah that'd be kind of cool if that actually happened um if like the wither skulls and the piglins actually fought that would be kind of dope you don't see that we have a game wow what was it called let me see if i walk back and then walk back in it said Strider something. Strider Stroller. Let's go. Strider Stroller. Ride a Strider through the nether's dangerous biomes, avoiding flowing lava and mobs. Collect gold nuggets along the way to score points and reach the nether fortress. Let's go. Yeah, we got to hurry a little bit through the museum stuff so that way we can uh, reach the nether fortress and collect gold nuggets. Yeah, so that way we can play all the different games. Whoa. Do I, I ride him or do I just bounce? How am I supposed to? Oh, I see. Yo, we're getting them gold nuggets. Some gold nuggets. Jump higher by leaping off your strider midair or dismount and bounce on your strider's head. Oh. Yo, that's kind of bonkers. You can't actually bounce on striders, though. That ain't like a real thing, is it? Oh, that was bad. I don't know if that's actually how I'm supposed to go about it. Is that how I'm supposed to go about it? No, I think I, I, think I just take him down here. And then we just kind of got to try and time this. I was trying to go fancy about it, but there's no need. That's a lot of saddles to just leave behind. Yo, like parkour. Oh, fudge. How do I fight? Oh, I can actually bow him. Parkour, but in like sideways. Whoa, no. At least I got him. I'm getting point. Do I lose him when I freaking die? Do I lose my gold, my gold nuggies? I think I lose my gold nuggies when I die. That's butts. I thought I was doing good on gold nuggies. I've only got 50. 65. Not too shabby. Let's let's go. Let's freaking go. You want some of this, pal? Give me your gold nuggies. Wait, how do I get down there? Can we Dang it, I'm gonna die. Health low. Frig off. 110. All right, down here. Can we go back this way? I need them gold nuggies. My health is not going back up, I don't think. Now, is it uppies or down? Let me try down, I guess. Yeah, it seems like maybe down's the way to go. A book. Quick charge collected. I didn't realize we were using a crossbow. We go down, I suppose. 
Dude, Pig Step, is, Pig Step is such a good song. That was a massive, massive addition. The Salt Delta's biome. The worst. You hate to see it. What is that? Is that... I got lucky on that one. I just walked right past that without even thinking twice. Is that supposed to be uh, magma? It looks way different. Are they... Is that is that like a clue that they're changing the magma block? Because that don't look like magma. Guess I'm not doing too... Oh, I need my strider. I, I accidentally double jumped. Guess I'm not doing too bad on the gold nuggies. I didn't realize the deaths affected it, so I fudged up a little bit, but... How would I get up there and get those ones? We're in the uh, traditional nether biome. Nether waste. Like I said, it was much easier when we only had nether waste. Like, the, the new stuff is cool, but... Now, that's the more traditional magma block. It's kind of weird that they used a different version of it for the basalt deltas. Warped forest. Oh, we're going to have to do... A little bit of a double jump arena to get up there. Fudge, I missed. God dang it. Oh, and I can't make that jump, can I? Dang, dude. I want I just wanted to get the gold nuggies. I had to do it. I had to do it. Why why are you not shooting? Why are you not shooting him? Oh, I died again. Fudge, dude. I'm really fudging it up. God dang it. Can I make that jump? I can make these jumps. Okay, we're chilling. Oh, well. I, I lost out on those gold nuggies anyway. Trying to get greedy with it, and I ended up losing out on them. I feel so bad when I got to leave the dude behind. Come on. It's like you just abandon your buddy. And he's just falling to his doom. <laughs> Come on, Lava. Get the frig out of there. Gotta get the gold nuggies. 320, 330, that's not too bad. I feel like that's not too bad. Down. Ooh, we're back. We're back on the strider. I like how the arrow actually like kind of angles towards where you're shooting. Like if you're shooting up at him, it actually angles up. Soul Shand Valley. Getting greedy again. 400, though. That's not too bad. Nope. I just would like to get back on. Can I get back on? I keep accidentally jumping off my strider. I think I am. No, he can jump over that. I was going to say, I think I might actually have to leave him, but not yet. Four eighty, dude. We're freaking killing it in the gold department. What was uh, Steve and Alex's score? I feel like they were in the three hundreds or something. Even though I'm like doing horrible and dying several times. There must be something in that chest. Can I actually like check the chest? Is that real? I don't think I can actually check the chest. I wish. Oh, I think we're leaving the nether. 570. We're leaving the uh, the game. Sticker collected. Strider, open the sticker book to see it inside. Nice. Wizard Light, 570. Alex, 375. Steve, 230. I can't lie. That's some pretty low scores. Like, I feel like I busted up, and I still did way better than them guys. How is this possible? Anyways, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, wait. I found a sneaky sticker. Blaze sticker. We got it. I knew I knew they had to have had some friggin' hiding around here somewhere. I definitely don't think I'll get all of them, but you know we'll we'll get what we can get. Like I said, aha! I found another sneaky sticker. Nether star. I did I call it a wither? I called it a wither star earlier. 
I feel like that's what it should be called, right? Now, is there an exit or do we just have to use the return to hub? I think we got to do return to hub. This will bring everyone with you. Who's everyone? Oh, you can play this with multiple people, can't you? Multiplayer. How many stickers did we get there? We only got three. Fudge. <laughs> okay, next up, let's go for Buzzy Bees. My favorite addition, I'd say, to the game. I love the bees. I love doing bee farms. Setting up a nice big field of wheat with some bees in the middle and flowers all around and just collecting loads of honey. Yeah, the uh, the bees were like a major addition to the farmage. It's so cool. I need to like do something like this though, man. I, I always make my same kind of builds when I make farms and bee farms and stuff. I need to make some kind of nice looking farms and a bee area. Like this is so cool looking. I need to remember this for the next season of the Minecraft member SMP. Which, by the way, only 99 cents to become a member and help support the channel. But that also will get you access to a cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. We're just waiting on 1.21 to come out. And we are going to be starting Season 3 of that server. With a brand new world, all kinds of new stuff. It's going to be dope. Oh, there's a game. Okay, cool. So this is sweet. It's just like a nice looking garden. And uh, a little bit of a game. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. The villager maze. Reach the giant cherry blossom tree to complete the maze. Oh, fudge. I hate mazes. Uh, should I try it before I go on to the other game? I guess I will. Frig. Villager maze. We just hug the right side, right? We should make it. I'm going to try that method. We hug the right side. Let's see, if it, let's see if that's a truth. What up, villager? We've come to a dead end already. But we're hugging the right side, so we'll, we will like loop our way back, I think. That is the right method, right? Am I am I like, am I right on that? Isn't that a method that a lot of people use? You just stay on one side. Does it have to be the right side or can it be the left side? I feel like I might be getting close, actually. If that's true, that's big if true. Uh oh. I don't I don't know. Are we actually getting close? There's more of these dudes just in here trimming. Wait. There's a side shoot. Was I supposed to go down the side shoot? Is that part of my hugging the right side method? This is cool though, it's like a mushroom zone. Oh, and a sticker, of course. Gotta have a sticker. Mushroom sticker. Yeah, I mean, it still works. We're still doing the, the same method. It's just, it was a little bit of a, a detour. Watch out, sir, I'm hugging the right side. Ooh, look at that. This dude's actually like making a little bit of a villager sort of statue out of the, out of the hedge. That's kind of crazy. Let's see, I think the method worked. I think we're about to freaking be there. Yeah, we made it to the giant. To the giant cherry tree. Dude, heck yeah. This is also really cool. It's like another kind of neato build idea. Uh, we have a game here. Is this the same game or is this a different game? The Hive. This must be a different game. There must be multiple games in the Buzzy Bees. Is this going to be a parkour game? I see a sticker. Definitely going to need to get that. We're like inside of a beehive, aren't we? Honeycomb sticker. Very nice. Let's parkour it up. There's uh, some readables. Oh, it's just about the uh, the new blocks that are added with Buzzy Bees. Like the... Oh, I didn't mean to smack that bee. <laughs> like the honeycomb, the honey block, the beehive, and the bee nest, I believe. Those are the differences. Oh, we can just jump right in the honey. It's not like major parkour. Oh, here's um, Buzzy Bees game. Okay. So we still, I think, ended up at the same place by doing the maze. We still ended up at the same kind of game the buzzy bees game let's play it bee come the bee rag up points by flying from flower to flower gathering nectar and returning it to the hive stretch your wings and venture out further to earn more points but watch out illagers and rain clouds don't make life easy for a bee ready set buzz let's -a go I'm gonna turn into a bee uh oh uh oh i grew wings That'd be cool if you could just have, like, grow wings and fly like a bee instead of, like, actually turning into a bee. Okay, so we can grab some nectar. Or is this is this the nectar? How do I do? Do I have to press something? Oh, I have to right-click. Okay. 15 nectars. We right-click and we collect. Is he going to get me over here? Are you going to get me over here? There's no bees allowed in that zone, but maybe I could try it anyway. I don't know if I have time to grab that one. We'll grab this one. What makes them mad? Do they just will they just chase me if I get too close? I think we're full on nectar. So we, we take it back, drop it off. We have 14 bits. 
That's actually 98 somehow. I don't know how that works out. So let's venture out farther to collect more. So we could try going a little farther. Or do we have to go into that Illager zone? Is that how we get the good stuff? No, that was 37 just by going to these purple flowers. 32, yeah, just by going out a little bit farther. We got to fly back and drop it off. I like that these are actually flowers, like the uh, cherry blossom dropping, like the leaves from the cherry blossoms, because you can take those and set those around your farms, and they look real nice, but then they also work for the bees to uh, pollinate, which is pretty cool for if you're building like a bee farm, which like I said, I definitely, I definitely like to do that. Oh, I'm just a little bit stuck. I couldn't go, couldn't go through that area. Try this one. Um, is he, like, how does, how does that work with him? Because, like, I'm really close. And he's not attacking me. Oh, is he chasing me? He is chasing me. Okay. But we, we got it. We freaking ventured out a little farther. Got some more nectar. One more. That ought to be full. And we got to get past this feller. Oh, he mad. He mad. He tried to chop. Did he actually chop me? It looked like I lost a little bit of nectar there. Can I hit this one up real quick? Quickly? Quickly? No, I got rained on. Fudge, I'm losing my nectar. You hate to see it. And I'm running out of time. 282. Okay, let's get, just get a little bit more. Let's get some of these close ones. Real quick. Should I get greedy and go for another one? Let's try it. Let's try it. Can we make it back in time? Come on, let's go. Let's go. 282. We got we to gotta hit 300 with this. Let's go. And that's all we got. 310. Not too shabby. I feel like that's not too bad. We got the B sticker. So we had Steve with 110, Alex with 45. Alex, what the heck were you doing? <laughs> it's not it's not that hard, man. But somehow Steve freaking dominated that one. That's crazy. Let's go back to the hub. Pop into the next one. So that's this side done. We've done Alpha, Dimensions, and Buzzy Bees. I actually got a decent bit of stickers there, I feel like. So now over here, this is where it gets crazy because this is... This is where I started my first ever Minecraft series. This guy's loaded up with presents. Can I have some of those, buddy? But this, yes, this is where my first Minecraft series, the Drunk Minecraft, started at the Caves and Cliffs update. But it was that weird, like, the update came out, but it wasn't the full update. Like, there was all the things that were promised, but, like, most of them didn't really happen. But that's when I started. Now, yeah, it dropped the freaking Y level way the heck down. Added in the deep slate and the new mining zones and stuff. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. It added the, uh, well, it was supposed to, I think the big thing was it was supposed to add the warden off the, uh, right off the bat. But, um, like the first, ver the first part of it, all it added was the caves, I think. It was like half of the update. It added all the new cave stuff, like the deep slate, the new ores, how the ores drop. It added, um, like, the goats, but it didn't add the cliffs yet, and it didn't add the warden like it was all promised. So that's, I think, where the, the whole thing was. But they're doing the updates a lot better now, that's for sure. Steve, that torch I don't think is going to help you much, dude. You're in a dire situation there. <laughs> You've only got a pickaxe, no armor, and all that coming at you. You're frigged. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did add the copper, but, and just, like, the lightning rod. I wish there was more uses for copper still these guys i think it was like the first freaking episode one of these dudes smacked me you can go check out that short of me getting smacked by a goat see it did not add the goat horns at first the goat horns was a much later addition oh yeah this i don't think this was in the initial like the first half of it either i think uh this was second half of the caves and cliffs but this major addition, it's kind of cool having all these new blocks. The big problem Minecraft still has, though, is the fact that um, your inventory is too small for the amount of stuff that there is. It's like you go mining and you're mining up all these blocks and it's just taking up so much space that you're losing out on space for, like, the ores. So you end up having to drop a whole bunch of stuff. I don't remember. I think, I don't know if the cave biomes were, yeah, the cave biomes had to have been added, right? In the first half of the update. I don't know. What is it saying about this? I didn't think it added anything to the uh, spawner dungeons. A rare delight to the avid cave explorer. Monster spawner, or monster spawn when you are within 16 blocks of a spawner, appearing in a 9 by 3 by 9 area around it. Place a single torch will disable the spawner. Okay, that's just info on it. I was going to say, that didn't wasn't added. Yeah, the new bats. They look so nice. I like the new bat texture. 
I wish there was like some kind of use for the bats though. Like they're kind of just they get in the way when you're mining and you accidentally hit them with your pickaxe and then you feel bad about it. This did major good for parkour. The whole leaf that falls down on you. Mine shafts definitely are much better in the uh, update. Having the hanging mine shafts are so cool. I think once again this is just more like info on eye of enders and portal stuff. What does this do? Oh, chorus fruit. Yeah, the chorus fruit. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. I don't know what that has to do with the. Uh... Oh, that just teleported Alex over there to be able to fill in the portal. I was gonna say I don't know what the chorus fruit has to do. Where are these silver fish coming from? Now, see, you can do this. Why don't you have spiders actually do cool like wall climbing animations in the regular game? Have them like sideways when they're climbing up a wall, or upside down when they're up on the ceiling. Silver fish our butts but there's the exit there should be a game right this is what i'm not too sure on is there multiple games or is there only one game because i i went like all the way i thought there was game out here i went all the way through all this and i end up at game so i don't know if like is there two games or did i just like go full circle and come back around to where i get back to the game having a bit of trouble finding the book you're looking for there fella Hey, over here! Ever wonder if these bookshelves hold more than just books? Could there be something hidden by the dusty covers? Oh. Good thinking. Maybe there's like a sticker in here. I'm just right clicking like bonkers. Can I climb the ladder? Nope. Aha! A lever. Secret door has opened. Is that. Where's that secret door? Aha! Here we go! A little bit of a sneaky sticker here a book enchantment book very nice whoa this is a massive library dude you know you're lost in here all right so on to the game alex got 220 steve got 145 they're like switching back and forth one wins one time the next wins the next time tiptoe through the tomes of all the undead librarians gather our vendors to score points it's a silent scramble let's play Oh, we have to, like, actually, do we have to be sneaky? Okay, so I'm avoiding the Zoms. Oh, is this, this is like Pac-Man or something, man. Oh, this is crazy. They disappear. Oh, fudge. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, I'm frigged. I'm frigged. God dang it. No, he just gives me a smack. Oh, no, 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 no. Minecraft, but it's actually Pac-Man. Is there a way that I can, like, get something that I can attack them with? What happens when they attack me? Do I just lose some of my eyes? Yeah, this is kind of... This is actually kind of tough. Trying to track where they're at. Yeah, I think I lose. Well, actually, I didn't even notice. I was going to try and pay attention that time when I got smacked, but I didn't. I think I'm still beating Steve and Alex, though. <clears throat> Every one of these games when I'm like, man, I'm doing so bad at this. I, th I think I still, like, double the Steve and Alex score somehow. Don't know how I manage it. Three hundred, man. Okay, we're it's. I'm I'm getting a lot better at it now. I feel like. Four hundred. Holy crap, dude! Can we hit five? Can we hit five? I think I can do it. I'm gonna do it. We still got fourteen seconds to go. Oh yeah, we're over five. Nice. Very nice. What we uh, we ended up with 550 and we got the Eye of Ender sticker. Very cool. Yeah, 550 to their 220 and 145. Kind of crazy. <laughs> and I suppose I'm going to go back and see if there actually was another game or if uh, it's all just leading me to the same place. Yeah, it looks like just getting to here was the ultimate goal. So let's head back to the hub. I believe next is exploration. Is that what this one's supposed to be? Yeah, exploration update. Let's go. Was that the last update? Was that the latest one? 
Yeah, I think that was the latest one, and we had Update Aquatic at some point. I think Update Aquatic was before Caves and Cliffs. So, um, yeah, we're this is the latest update before the next one. This was a pretty cool one, too. Jungle Biome. Who was shooting arrows at the poor little ocelot? That ain't cool. Not cool at all. Oh, we have an arrow leading me this way. Is that a mistake to go that way? I feel like there's probably some kind of sneaky secret over here. It seems like a little bit of a sneaky path. What do we got? What do we got? I'm not seeing any secret. Fudge. Where are these arrows taking me? Was that the right was that the right maneuver? It must have been. Yeah, we're still we're still following arrows. Do we go do we go uppies? Do we go around the tree? Where do we Where do we go down? Is it taking me down now? That's weird. Parkour. Parkour. Oh, I see it. Now I see it. I knew there was gonna be a sticker. Jungle Temple. Open the sticker book to see it inside. Okay. Jungle Temples are cool. They're they're kind of rare, though. Like, you don't find them too often. And the loot inside is not always, like... It's not, you know... By the time you find one of them, you, the loot's usually not really that much of a big deal. Unless you were to, like, just randomly spawn into a jungle. And you look around for a little bit and bam, you find one. That might give you a little bit jump on the, uh, on the game, but... Otherwise, Temple Dash. Retrieve the Wild Armor... Trim smithing template from the jungle temple. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds very cool. Yeah, the uh, armor trims. Very, very cool addition. But look at how sick you can make your armor look. Reminds me of the Minecraft story mode. This one's supposed to be exploration, right? Why is it only jungle? Because there was more than just jungle in the uh, exploration update, right? What is even that? What is this invisible? Is that just supposed to be a uh, smithing template? Is that where we're supposed to put it when we find it? Let's see, before we jump into the game, let's see if there's more to check out. Oh, can we throw on a music disc? Watch the birds dance. Oh, I got the parrot sticker. Sick. Is there a ocelot sticker? It's my jam. I think this is one of my favorite Minecraft music discs. It's just so good. Just have to, I had to do a little bit of a, a dance party here real quick. Nothing major. Moving on. <laughs> some uh, some horse armors. Very nice. Yeah, I think... Was it that this update that added the craftable leather horse armor? I don't think it did anything with slimes. Did add the mangrove. Ooh. Find the wandering trader and his llamas. I see him. There's a llama. There we go. Okay, that zoomed. There's another one. There's another one. A little bit of a mini game here. And that poor dude's stuck in the uh, slime. What do we get for it? How do I how do I actually get out of this? I found all the stuff, but now I'm stuck. It won't let me out. I can't get out. Oh, it's shift. Okay, shift gets you out. I was like, fudge. <laughs> I'm stuck. I didn't even mean to click on that in the first place. Then <laughs> I got stuck in there. But I did that when I got all that stuff. Did I get a sticker for that? I didn't even notice. I guess we could check. No sticker? Unless it's... Yeah, maybe. No, the parrot. No. Only, we got no sticker on that one. Yeah, the frogs and the mangrove. That was pretty sick addition. I'm, I really enjoyed that. There's no new tree for this uh, update. They haven't... Or at least they haven't said anything about it. Taiga biome. Yeah, yeah. I'm real excited for the uh, the wolf update. That's going to be kind of crazy. Foxes. Uh, when was foxes added? I don't remember. It's hard to remember, like, when all these different things came about. To find the traitor and his llamas. I see a llama. There's one. This one seems like it might be a little bit harder. Actually, maybe not. There's another. Now for the traitor. Ah, there you are up in the tree. I see you. Yeah, not too bad. We got a llama sticker. Okay, cool. So we just had to do both sides. You know, do the, the double spyglass thing. And then we get the, the thing we were looking for, the sticker. Here's for the game. What is the game? Excavation. Okay. So we do have multiple games in some of these places. Because there's Temple Run back here. And then there's Excavation. So let's go let's do Temple Dash. We got 485 and 220. Dash through the moss-covered corridors. Avoiding traps and battling zombies. Skeletons to find the wild armor smithing template. Collect golden apples along the way to keep your health up. Only the strongest will survive. Let's play. Oh boy, what do what do I gotta do here? Do I just have to fight my way through, or like, 
Am I supposed to be quick about this? Defeat monsters, okay. And avoid traps. Easy enough, right? Where's these traps? I see arrows. You know, arrows would indicate that there's a, a trap or something, but maybe it's just that skeleton. Okay, so can we can we jump it? Jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it. Oh, it's sh oh, I was like, man, why is my shield not working? I'm used to I'm used to Java where you don't shift to shield, you just right click to shield. I wish I kind of wish it was still like that on Bedrock here, you know? I wish they would make that a parody thing, make them the same. Golden apple collected. Okay. Now we have to parkour a little bit. Can we go down? Yeah, we go down. Checkpoint reached. Nice, nice. Get hit by your own traps, you dingus. You dumb idiot. Okay, we gotta time it. Go, 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 go. Get hit by your own traps. Dumb idiot. I feel like this may be one where I don't beat Steve and Alex. Especially when you're throwing parkour at me. There's no way, man. With parkour, I'm ruined. Oh, I almost just fell. Especially uh, bedrock parkour. Where'd he go? Oh, he got, how did you get behind me? At least I got a checkpoint. It's the whole, like, toggle shift thing that gets me, I think. Another golden apple. Oop. 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 I think I got hit by something. Do I eat the golden apple? I have a bow. Why am I not using my bow? Oh, yeah. I can eat the golden apples. Get my health back up. I didn't even realize I could use a bow. Oop. Yeah, that's bad. We have to kind of get to the side here. And then we gotta go. He's alive. He's alive. I freaking knew it. Where's the other one? What the butts is happening right now? Get hit by your own freaking trap. I'm gonna die. I need to gapple. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where did you even come from? Nice, get hit by your own trap. Let's go. I made it. Just about made it. Holy frig. Okay, golden apple. Nice. Gonna eat it up. Oh, we're getting we're getting swarmed. Getting freaking swarmed. I haven't even found the template yet. Got more arrows here. We run, we run. Oh fudge. Oh fudge. Dude, these arrow traps are so, so mean. There's so many of them. They're so hard to navigate. Okay, we can jump, 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 jump. Yeah, frig yeah. I'm still hitting the uh, right click trying to block these arrows, but it doesn't work that way. Did I die? I must have died. At least I had a checkpoint. There we go. Did it set me back on points? I didn't even notice. I'm at 310. I don't know what I was at before. I might have lost some, but that's okay. He's about... Oh, how did he avoid that? Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Block these freaking arrows. It'd be kind of cool. Like, they have some cool animations in this. I, it always, it just makes me wonder, like, why does Minecraft... Oh, another golden apple. Why does Minecraft not add some of these cool animations to the base game? You know, if they can do it for this map, why can't they do it for the actual game? Like, the way they pull that bow back, look at how cool that looks. And the way the zombies, like, walk at you, I can't hit him. Invincible. He's invincible to the sword. 
All right, gonna gapple up, gonna get this health up a little bit. Very nice. More traps. More frigged up traps. This is inhumane. <clears throat> God dang it. I think this is the longest one yet. One of the longest uh, mini games. Pretty big for a mini game. I'm pushing 500 points though. We're almost there. Jump, jump, jump. I found it. I found the freaking smithing template. Holy schmoly. And I scored 490 points. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We've done it. Hey, we got the golden apple sticker. Cool. Very cool. And we should have one more game to do, the excavate game. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And then I think we've got one more section. And that is it for this map. Probably not. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'm sure I've missed, you know, because I kind of zoom in through it a little bit now that I'm running out of time. But you can always go check this out yourself if you got Minecraft Bedrock. It is free to check out. It's one of the gifts that they're giving away as well as like a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. Let's go. Let's excavate. Oh, I'm thrilled you've stumbled upon your excavation exhibit. Care to try your hand at uncovering ancient treasures? Seek out a faint marking on the ground. Use the brush to start swiping. Who knows? You might even unearth a relic or two. Or perhaps something even more intriguing. Happy digging. Let's go. Oh, do I just go in here and, and do it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, brush away the suspicious gravel to uncover hidden artifacts or stickers. Yes, this is something with the exploration update. Getting sus gravel that you brush and you get stuff out of. That's not sus, is it? It's kind of weird because you got like a texture pack. So I don't know what's sus and what's not. Okay, I see the difference now. Ooh, some glass. That's that's pretty good. Oh, some more glass. You love to see it. I'm finding the greatest treasures ever ever is found. Greatest treasures known to man. What is that? Some string. Wow. Fancy. A little bit more string. Nice. Ooh, beetroot seeds. What I really want is that sniffer egg. That's what we're really here for. But I think you find those under the under the sea. Is that a candle? It is a candle. Maybe in here there's greater treasure. Well. Ooh, I got a brush sticker. I just had to hit all the uh, sus gravel and then we get the brush sticker. I think that's it. I don't. We didn't get very much for treasures. Um, nothing like crazy good. But, oh well, that is what it is. Let's go. Ooh, sniff and seek. Is this another game? This one's kind of crazy with the games. We got sniffer eggs and all the new flowers. You Oh, was I supposed to be able to get up here? I don't know that I was supposed to be able to get up here. Maybe. But yeah, you got the uh, the new flowers you can get. The sniffers. It is another game. Holy shmoly, they went crazy on games on this one. Steve with 100, Alex with 60. I bet you I'm going to friggin' absolutely dominate. Uh, saddle up on your sniffer companion and forage for seeds in the cherry blossom biome. With the sniffer's nose leading the way, bury your head in the leaves to score points. Okay, let's try it. We're going to ride a sniffer. That'd be kind of cool. Why aren't sniffers rideable? They're so big. You know, you'd think they'd be a rideable creature. Like, look at that. How cool would that be? Oh, we got to go. Okay, I sniffed the wrong area. Bury your head in cherry leaves by using the sniff item to score points. Okay, this is what we wanted. In the leaves. Do we get anything? We're getting 20 flour. 20 flour. Okay, 20 flour per pile. So we're, we're actually, I think we already beat Alex. We just got to get past the Steve score. There's more over here. More piles. Love sticking my head in big piles of flowers. That's good for your allergies. Sniffers, though, they're built different, you know? I think we are tied with Steve now. Oh, yeah. I'm winning. Beat Steve. Beat Alex. Easy peasy. I guess there are a lot of mounts already in Minecraft. So it's like, do you really need another 
mount, especially one that's big and slow like the uh, sniffer. Time's up, but we got 140 points. And we got a sniffer sticker. Very cool. Now, can I like jump on in here and explore? I think I can. Wait a second. Where how did I, where did I end up at by jumping down? Oh, there's stairs. Does that take me back up? I don't know. But here's the exit. I, I just was confused because I'm back to this guy telling me it's a game, sniff and seek. Oh, we also have like the snowy biomes with the snowy bunny. And uh, do we have some snow foxes in here? These guys, these guys are, uh, they're not too tough to take out, but that slowness is definitely kind of uh, crazy. We got another spyglass. We gonna look for the freaking, for the trader again? Trader and his llamas? I see a llama. There you are. I see you. There's one. I see another. Found him. He pokes his head down. That's kind of, it's kind of crazy that I was actually able to find it. I got lucky. Because otherwise, I might have looked there and just, like, kind of blew past it if he didn't have his head poked up. Now, if, oh, he's frozen. Oh, frig, we better get him out of there, man. That ain't no good. It's not letting me not letting me zoom on him. I see him, but the zoom function's not working. Let's get out of it and then get back in it and see if that works. There he is. There we go. We found all the mobs. We have to do another. Oh, we have a igloo we can go into. Do we have a zombie? Oh, we got a zombie sticker. Zombie villager sticker. Yeah, usually you'd have a, a villager and a zombie in here that you could heal up. So we have another little snowy taiga biome that we can look for some fellers with. I see you frozen in there. That's, they got this guy frigged up, man. They froze him multiple times. <laughs> He's stuck in a slime. He's frozen. The llamas are just kind of chilling. But the poor trader, he's he's having a rough time. A rough go of it. There you are. All the llamas found. We got a brown llama uh, sticker. Okay. There's a lot of stickers. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There was a lot of stickers for the exploration page. Look at all these. There, I mean, there was like two full pages of stickers. And I actually got a lot of them, which is kind of crazy. I believe, yeah, this is the way we came in. So I don't know if there's much more to this. There's a hallway that keeps going. This exploration, man, it just keeps going. Another game. Mushroom biome. Uh, 136 and 237. Okay, so this is like a timed one. Find all 15 mushrooms and transform them to the correct type with a zap of lightning. Bounce on the red mushrooms to reach new heights and harness the power of lightning rod to complete the electrifying challenge in the fastest time. Let's try it. I'm not sure that I'll have the fastest time, but we're gonna we're going to absolutely try it out. Bounce on the giant red mushrooms. Find and convert all 15 mushrooms. Let's go. Wait, how How do I bounce on the red mushrooms? I have extra jump already. I see. Oh, I'm already fudging up on my time. Do I hit you? Okay. Okay. Oh, we have to hit the brown. Okay, I see. The brown ones. I don't know that I'm going to find all fifth. Dude, I'm definitely not getting the best time. This is one where Steve and Alex definitely got me. Because I'm not seeing very many of these brown mushrooms. There's supposed to be 15 of them? No way. I talked too much crap early on in the games that now I'm getting frigged up. That's a lot of brown mushrooms to find. Come on, get him. Get him. How am I supposed to get that one when I'm bouncing constantly? How do I get the next one? Fudge. I fudged that one up. I got to get all the way back up there. God dang it. This is a this is actually a tricky one. I seen like two of them over here. Or no, I, I don't know if there's actually more. I thought there was more over there. Fudge, the bounciness is really kind of frigging me up. Because it's not like you've already got jump boost and then you get that bounciness, but it's not like only when you jump. It's just if you get on the red mushroom, you're just constantly bouncing. And it's kind of uh, it's kind of tough to, to navigate with that. Okay, there's no way I'm finding 15 of these guys. I can't do it. 
I quit. How is there even 15 in here, man? This is bonkers. All right, I say it's time to move on to the next and final zone, I believe, and it's the update aquatic. Let's go swim with the fishies. Oh boy. It's a, it's a full blown aquarium. This is sick. The fish update, man. It really did make, or the update aquatic, it really did make the oceans look so much better. The coral, the just different variety of fish, man. It's so nice. What up, Steve? You have been given a camera. This item is locked and can't be dropped. Uh, use your camera to capture fantastic photos of different fish in their natural habitats to reel in stickers. Okay, cool. So we just, uh, okay, can we get a dolphin photo? How do we actually snap the photo? Okay, nice. We got a, a dolphin. That gives me a dolphin sticker. Sick. Can we do a turtle photo? Oh, okay. So you, uh, it's right click for both. Okay. So we got a dolphin and and a turtle. Can we get like some tropical fish? Nice tropical fish sticker. We're collecting a lot of a lot of stickers here. So there's a lot of tropical fish. There's dolphins. There's turtles. Is there any cod or salmon? I suppose we'll just have to have a look around. Do we? Do we photo you? Does that do anything for me? I don't think that does anything for me. What is this? What does that do? Where did I just go to? Oh, there he is. Photograph the Elder Guardian. Can I get this sticker? I got it. Uh, Elder Guardian sticker, nice, okay. How the frig do you capture one of these and why would you want to? That's kind of crazy. Where did I just end up at? Oh, look at the turtle exhibit. This is cool. I need to do this more too. I need to make more like little turtle farms because the turtles are handy. Getting that turtle shell helmet and like the potion. I, well, I've never actually really used the potion of the turtle master, but uh, turtles are handy. A little bit of a shipwreck. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. What I'm wondering is when are sharks? When are sharks coming? Are these glow squid? I did. I photographed a glow squid. Nice. You know, I think that's probably the most the most hated mob. I don't know. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't I don't know of many people that were very happy with the glow squid. But you know what? It is what it is. You can't win them all. Well, what's your question there, feller? Elevated water temperature and CO2 levels can induce coral bleaching, causing the reefs to lose their vibrancy and interact with the lever to restore life to the coral reef. It's looking a little bit brown and poopy in there. Let's uh, let's make it look all nice and vibrant again. And there we go. There's the fish. A little bit of a salmon. Oh, I got coral. I was going for salmon. I photographed the salmon and it gave me coral. That was weird. Yeah, that's sad. We don't want you know we don't want coral and fish dying like that. That's that's not very good. I feel so touristy right now, just in here photographing everything. Uh, oh, axolotls. I got an axolotl. Nice. And one of the mini guardians. Oh. I was not expecting that. That was frigged up. Ooh, a drowned. Can we photo as drowned? I already got the axolotl. Drowned. Yeah, we got him. We get no sticker for that one, though. Any poofer fish? We're lacking in the puffer fish department. Let's play the game. Feeding frenzy. Spacebar. Exited feeding frenzy. Okay, let's try this. Oh, oh, I see. What are we supposed? We're we supposed to be grabbing the slimes. Yo, this is sick. This is a cool game idea. Do we not want to hit the magma ones? But frogs eat magma creams. That's how you get glow lights. Why would you not want to eat that? You don't get anything from them eating regular slimes, do you? It's the specific frogs eat the magma creams. And that gets you the glow lights, right? Like you have the different types of frog. 95 points. And we got a frog sticker. Very cool. I just about beat Alex. Just gotcha. All right, let's move right along. Now, let me try the salmon photo again. I really, there we go. Now we got salmon, okay. The other salmons wouldn't work, but this salmon works. And uh, is that cod? 
I think that's COD. Yeah, we've, we've got the photo of COD, but we get no sticker for that. Uh, regular squid. We got a squid. No sticker. Poofer fish. Lovely poofer fish. It makes him actually puff up. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I love the puffer fish because you can do that prank on your friends where you do slabs and you put them underneath the slabs and, like, your friend will walk into their house and the puffer fish will poison them through the slabs. If uh, Captain Arthur's watching this, he knows all about that. Frog? Uh, we already got a frog sticker, so... Tadpoles? I don't know if there's a tadpole sticker. It doesn't look like it. We've got dolphins. We've got, uh... Trident? Did we get a trident sticker? Maybe not. My dude's cleaning up in there. At least there's no sharks in there, you know? He's just swimming with friendly stuff. Turtles and dolphins and fish. Be kind of sketchy if there was a shark in there. Uh, are we, we're actually back to the beginning. Okay, so we can go down this tunnel. This is really cool. This gives me ideas for, like, builds in Minecraft. Ooh, we got a, uh, Heart of the Sea sticker. You know, if we do a conduit and we build, like, a tunnel and then we have, like, you know, just under the ocean where you can just look up and you can see all this stuff, like, naturally. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay, we're back to this glow squid. We've already done this zone. We've done the frog game. I think, uh, I think is that it for this section, for this zone? I've actually gotten almost all of the stickers. Which one am I missing? What could I possibly be missing? Uh, Orville Studios, you visited all the areas. What a journey. That is, it's been a journey, man. 15 years of Minecraft, and this map was very awesome, and it crashed. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. It was going through, like, the little outro bit, and... It, uh, it died on me. I think my, uh, game definitely broke a decent bit because I'm back at the, uh, aquarium and this is, like, way messed up. <laughs> the Guardian's gone. There's no water here, it looks like. And, uh, no animals. Everything looks gone. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Somehow it really broke. Let's try leaving again and see what happens because I think they're supposed to be in, like, a cinematic or something as you uh, end the the thing here end the map oh yeah I can't even exit it's uh it's definitely broken but uh, anyways happy birthday Minecraft happy 15 years appreciate all the uh, updates that you've done like you, there's not many games that are updating 15 years later and adding stuff when you own the game and just giving you free stuff constantly so very cool Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. So that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join Discord. You can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, only 99 cents to become a member. Get you a bunch of cool perks. You're going to get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. Very soon we're going to be starting Season 3 of that server with the new update coming, 1.21. And there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on on that server. So definitely check that out. Merch also available if you want to help support in that way. We got sleeveless shirts for the summertime and hats for the winter time and other hats for other times. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.